this is the very heart of the old village. Not a river. You can see a mound. Now that is an old Mott and Bailey castle. Thank you for joining me. I'm out in a Buckinghamshire village and today is an episode of Classic Villages of England. Before I go into too much detail as to where we are, I just want to say if you do like my videos and enjoy watching, please do like, share and comment and subscribe. That's the most important if you subscribe. The more subscribers I get, that really helps the channel. So today, episode of Classic Villages of England, it's only episode three and as the series evolves, um, you know, things change slightly. So. What's probably going to become a bit of a feature, not necessarily of every video, but some of them, is to include more than one village. So we're in a village called Western Turville in Buckinghamshire. We're going to walk to the nearby village of Halton. So effectively it's two villages. I just want to show you this. This house here, that's called Scott House, and it was designed by the architect Gilbert Scott. So that's our sort of first... Um, it's just, I can't really see the front of it, I only really see the side of it, but that's the sort of first um, nice landmark we'll see. We might see some of the back of it as we walk past. I'm going to walk down here down to the heart of the old village centre. So to give you an idea of exactly where we are, we're about a mile and a half north of Wendover. Um, so the nearest railway station will be Wendover on the old um, Great Central and Metropolitan Joint Line. Here, it's about the best view we're going to get of, of Scott House. Let's walk down now into the village. So that's roughly where we are. Although probably the nearest railway station to the village is actually Stoke Mandeville station, which would be... Um, I can see going down is this little road here, footpath side. If I walk down those footpaths, I probably would eventually um, go to Stoke Manville. So that gives you an idea of where we are. So the plan is we'll, we'll look around Western Turville and then what we'll do, we'll walk across the fields to Halton and see what we can find there. The village name goes back, it used to once be called Wheatstone, I understand, and then Turville was added, the suffix Turville added in the 13th century, referring to the Lords of the Manor. This is not to be confused with the other Buckinghamshire village of Turville, that's on the other side, the Chilterns, that's the village where uh, programmes like Goodnight Mr Tom was filmed and numerous Midsummer Murders episodes and all sorts of other things. That's a different village, that's not where we are today. As we come now into the very heartly old village, you've got the checkers in there. This pub here is called, or it's not a pub, that house is called The Forge. The pub is called The Checkers. There's a couple of, we've got a really, look at that really nice thatched cottage there. And then ahead of us, there's a couple of other thatched cottages. Typically, uh, someone's having some tree work done. So I'm not going to talk too much further up here because my voice will soon be drowned out by the sound, sound of power tools. But what I'm going to do up here, I'm expecting to find a footpath. And that will take me down to a stream across the fields to Halton. So this, this is the very heart of the old village of, of uh, Western Turville. <laughs> Not too far that way is the newer part of the village. So the village has a population of about 3,100 to give you an idea. So it's a yeah, medium sized village. Right, as the power tools get louder, I'm going to walk off that way. Let's go and find this stream and walk across fields to Halton. So as we leave the residential part of the village behind us, you might just be able to hear the sound of the power tools. I think in a couple of weeks' time it's going to look really nice to be a load of snowdrops. Or have, or have they all come and gone? No, maybe they've all come and gone. Anyway, here's a stream here. It doesn't. I can't find anything on an OS map that this stream has a name. So maybe if you're local and you know the name of this stream, or does it have a local name, do please comment and tell me. I'd love to know. But it flows off in that direction um so yeah it goes in that direction it comes from can't see much to the fence but it comes from the there's a reservoir nearby here so that's where the water comes from there's a few uh a few, yeah, i think those snowdrops have been and gone there's a few snowdrops daffodils are coming out over there so it's like that nice feeling you get when it's the beginning of spring walk through this little woodland and we go out into a field now this is the field i'm going to walk across to get to Halton. Um, but if you look up there, that's what I wanted to point out, up on that hill, that wooded hill, that is Wendover Woods. And somewhere up there is the highest point on the Chilterns. Now, I don't know how it's very faint, but I can just see in amongst that Halton house. That's part of the RAF camp. Um, but it's like a sister, a little sister towards the manor. Halton house is designed by the same market. So I'm going to go across the fields. Let's go and find the village of Halton. 
So I've come across the fields, and as you can see, I'm on a road, and we are very close now to Bolton. It says Bolton Village. Now, if we turn around, look, we're at the runway, or the end of the runway, there is a, a fence, but we're at the end of the runway of Halton End. You can just see this is where we are. So as I've mentioned, Halton is very much in the far end. We'll have a look at the old part of the village in a minute. I'm going to continue walking on up the lane. Let's go and see what else we can find at Halton. So I'm now arriving at Halton Village Centre. And Halton is known for two things. I've already mentioned the RAF. The other thing is the Rothschilds. Now they built these estate cottages or houses. They're really attractive buildings. Halton House, which I mentioned back there, I could see the top of. That was one of the Rothschilds houses. As I said, it's like the little sister. Oh, I always think it is. What's the man? I have been in there. Occasionally they have open days and they usually run a vintage bus. So that's worth looking out for, usually around September time. So as I said, these are some of the Rothschilds houses. There's a couple of interesting things here. We're going to talk about the transport in Halton. That's interesting. Look, that's the village hall. It looks more just like your average house, but that's what it says. That's the village hall. More nice houses. They've got nice little pictures on some of them. See that? Like it's the men chopping a tree. I'm going to go sit here now. See? See the house there? The cottage with the mansard roof. Or talking of transport, it's not an old railway cottage. Um, we'll get onto a railway in a minute. What it is, you can see there is a bridge here. This bridge takes us over, I'll show you better on this side, not a river, this is the old Wendover arm of the Grand Union Canal. It is disused now, but this section has water in. The stub of it is, can still be used, is navigable. There's a section further up with no water. One day, I've been saying this for years, I want to make a video on the whole canal, but it's probably a two day job, it is quite long, so one day, We'll have a look and we'll go and have a look at that nice bridge up there. So that's the canal. So that's one form of transport to Halton. The other form was a railway. Now, if you want to know about the railway to Halton, the best thing I can suggest is you click the link on screen now. A while ago, I made a video on the old railway to Halton. It wasn't your average passenger railway. It was an RAF railway. The RAF had their own branch from Wendover to Halton and then off that they had an arrow gauge railway so that's your transport history for Halton. Uh, there's a bus stop there, I'm not sure if any buses, I'd like to think there are buses that serve Halton. Um, so that's Halton's transport history. Let's go have a look at the church now, there's the entrance. Michael and All Angel Church Halton. Don't know if we're going to go inside it or not, if it'll be open. I have been in this church before, I've done various walks around this area over the years. We walk up the drive, see the tower, it's got scaffolding on it, and so it's obviously having some work done. It's quite a nice church, because if you look, we'll see as we get closer, you've got the tower, it's got stone, it's got little bits of flint in the mortar. I'll show you that. And there's, um, you'll see lots of military graves. I, I didn't want to get them on film, but I have seen a couple of soldiers walking around because of the RAF. There is the newer part of the village, which is all very much RF. There's another church there, a more modern church. I have also been in that one. So these are the more you know, civilian graves. I can see some more RAF graves over there. So I'm saying about the design of the church. You've got big blocks and then little bits of flint in the middle. Take my hat off just in case it's open. Uh, unfortunately, it's not open. That's a shame. Um, so the church isn't open, unfortunately. Uh, maybe another time we can come back. I'd love to go up the tower and see the view. I'm going to walk down to the canal now and see what we can find down there. So now we're walking along beside the canal for about half a mile, so not a particularly long section of canal before I need to head back towards Western Serville. Looking out across there, looks across the Vale of Aylesbury. Now when we get to here, just ahead of us, I can see a bench, I can see the footpath sign, the canal sweeps off around there, gets quite nice and wide. Like I say, I will one day hopefully explore this whole canal. It's something I really would like to do, but I, I think it's a, it's a two-day job. That's the reason why I've not yet done it. So the canal goes that way 
to Wendover. We're going to go down here, down this footpath, which, like I say, is heading back towards Western Turville. So along side this hedge, and somewhere over there is the village centre. So I'm now crossing the final field back to towards Western Turville. The hill over there uh, is, as mentioned already, Wendover Woods. Looking across there, that's Coombe Hill. I don't think the camera's picking out. I can just see the monument. If we look towards where we were, so we, we sort of went out that way. That's the village of Western Turville. I can see what appears to be the manor house. And then right ahead of us, that is the parish church. That's where I'm heading to next. So, still with Wendover Woods in the background, we've crossed the field and we're in the churchyard. There's one more of those RAF graves there. And then here are all the other graves. The church itself, St Mary's Church, is just through the trees over there. The reason I'm going to take you into this corner of the graveyard is because there's a couple of things of the earlier part of the history of Western Turville, which I wanted to show you, and I think it's probably going to be the best place we can see them. If you look across, <laughs> come to that corner of a churchyard where people don't go, you know where the compost is, because that's not what I can show you. And the reason I'm here, look, if you look across there, you can see a mound. Now that is an old Mott and Bailey castle. So there was once a castle here. The house you can see, I believe, is the manor house. Again, we don't get a great view. I mean, it is private, so I sort of don't want to intrude too much on, you know, their privacy. But at the same time, if I could see it clearly as we walk past, I'd show you. Looking back across there, I don't know how clear it is, I can just see top of Alton House but um, it's sort of thing I'd like to make a video on one day maybe whether I'd go to one of their open days and make a video the problem is sometimes these places when they have an open day you think it's an ideal ch chance to make a video but usually it's so busy it's not so easy and um, I get that sometimes with with some of these villages like um, people say oh you should go to the village when whatever fairs on yeah village fairs are great and everything but it wouldn't be ideal for making this video, so I deliberately usually choose a week though I've got nothing else on and to come along and explore these these villages. So this, as I say, we're now in the churchyard of Western Serval. The only problem is sometimes it means the churches aren't open. Sometimes it's a bit of a lottery with any church. They either are open or they're not. If they're not, it's understandable really, because you know people could go in them and get vandals and stuff. So I can understand churches not being open but at the same time it's always a little bit disappointing when you come to a church a church like this and it's not open we'll find out um i'm not going to get too excited it might be open it's like it's nice to see the church it's a bonus if it's open so the manor house as i say it is in there it's a historic part of it but we can't really see it because it's in there it's private there's a sort of ditch here whether that was once part of the old castle i'm not so sure I will take my hat off in anticipation. Excuse the hat here, just in case the church is open. It sort of looks... Hmm. No, it's not open, it's just a very old door, so there's a gap. It always looked like it could be open, but it isn't. But, oh well, um, that's just how how it is. So, this is the front of the church. Oh, look, this is exciting. To make up for the church not being open, I've just seen this lich gate here, look. There's a weight. That big weight's like an old cannon. I think the idea is, if I take that off, yeah, it, um, the weight goes down and it, it closes the gate. And then if I, pull, if I pull it open, the cannon goes up. I'll put it back as I found it, just because I don't like to interfere too much with things. So that is the church. I'm going to follow the lane now back to the village centre. There's the church in the background, that little cottage there, that's like a gatehouse to the manor house, which I mentioned is through the trees down there. This little lane will take me back to the village centre. But I've noticed there's a footpath there, I think I'm going to go back down there. We come to that stream again, I think this would have been a ford here once. So that's, you know, how probably, I'm just fairly sure there would have been a fall. This, well, this unnamed stream, or at least I think it's unnamed, which I'm just walking to, um, it seems quite big here. It seems a shame it hasn't got a name. But like I say, maybe it has a local name. It just isn't mentioned on any of the, um, of the map. So like I say, if you know of the name of this stream, please do comment and tell me. I'm literally standing right in the middle of it. 
<laughs> I'm going to follow that footpath down there. That will take me back to where I started. I hope you enjoyed this video. From you know, I am. I'm glad once again I wore my wellies. From standing in the middle of a stream. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to have a clean boots. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe, and comment. And from the Buckinghamshire village of Western Turville in a stream which I don't know the name of.